What's up everybody, Dan Tortora here of Wake Up Call, and this is our From Mother's Cupboard to Table series as we bring you every single month. We have guests, sometimes we do food challenges. This is the Q's McMother. It's my sandwich, it's my creation here. And from the second that it came out, you've been selling a few of them. I sold um, 9 million and 400, <laughs> and no, I sold a lot of these, they're quite popular. Amy Wait, has sold a lot of that. We gotta give Amy a shout out here. Okay. So fair every enough. everybody has Amy. I've made a thousand. And I think everyone on your staff has said that above all people, Amy's the one that says it over and over again. And she writes out Syracuse for she the Sarah, right? For the Q. She does. She stays so true to it. It's called the Q McMother. Shorthanded. Right. So the Q McMother. It's my spin on the breakfast sandwich. Bacon, egg, and cheese inside of two pieces of French toast, cinnamon, and sugar. And it's born out of the fact that whenever I come out to mothers and, and in general in breakfast, I always want eggs and bacon, but then I also want sweet. So I bonded the two, French toast, and that's what everybody says, True. is it's a mix of everything. Right. It's exactly having it all without having to choose. Right. So today, sweet, slight, savory, Pete and I, so the ownership versus the creator of the Q Smith mother, we're gonna goodness. face off against each other and you're gonna watch on camera in real time, no editing. Whoever wins, you guys are gonna see it when it happens. So, ready? Ready. All right. One, two, three. Let's eat. Oh. You can cut it up and eat it with French toast, or eat it with syrup, or you can eat it like a sandwich like we're doing right now. Still hot. And it's still a bit, a bit hot. Still got some Sport meat food on. Sandwich. Now this is unusual because you pork and knife it. Yeah. Very good. Great at it. I've been cutting it up lately, but now I'm eating it like a sandwich. <laughs> Once again, my spin on the breakfast sandwich. Bacon, egg, and cheese, so good. But with the French toast, it's a game changer and you can only get it, the Cuse McMother here at Mother's Cupboard. So hot. We got past it. This one was all right. Halfway. You got past it? Mm-hmm. He's halfway, I'm almost halfway. <laughs> We're both at the halfway point. Mm. I do think I like dipping it as opposed to like pouring it all over. When you cut it up though, it, it it's... Might be a different theory there. It does. And you don't have to <laughs> I don't think you can do it without the syrup. You either gotta dip it like a sandwich or cut it up. Yep. My secret way of trying to win this thing today is to not use a napkin. No napkins. Oh man. Oh man. Uh oh. These challenges are tough. <laughs> no, it's got me. He got me. What's that? This one got me. No, oh, I can't. <laughs> yeah, we like that. <clears throat> Boy, you really, like, if I was racing you, you'd stay over there and then right at the end, go. <laughs> That's what they say, slow it off. You gotta be steady. You were you know. steady and then you were fast. 
you gotta you gotta kind of jog it out so that last mile you can just hit it like the flash. Yeah, yeah you flash me right there at the end. And you can see, no food left. You're still chewing. Mm -hmm. So it was close, but like I said to Pete, I was like, I better win this Fuse McMother challenge. It's my sandwich. So how do you lose your own sandwich? But literally won. You gave me a valiant effort. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't eat all day so that I could come here and have this. And I did it in, if you take off the intro time, we did it in about four minutes. Not bad. Four minutes. It's not bad. What do you think about Joey Chestnut eating? Well, at four minute mark, he's probably got 40 of them. Yeah, okay. and, and I I can never look at a hot dog again the same way when you dunk the hot dog and the bread in water. That's so disgusting. <laughs> Wet bread is one of the most disgusting things you can ever yeah, have on this planet. It's yeah, absolutely. Soggy bread. My mom could tell you, if she made me a sandwich and it got soggy. Yeah, like from I the lunch bag it, or yeah, something. I wouldn't eat it. Because I would gag. I can't eat it. I think all of us were in that boat. If you made peanut butter and jelly and you put it in a sandwich bag and you didn't eat it till 11 o'clock. Yeah. And it was made at 7. Uh, tuna. If you make tuna at 10.30, you better eat tuna at 11. You better eat tuna at 10.34. <laughs> so with that being said, for owner Pete Green, myself, Dan Tortora, happy to be here with you inside of Mother's Cupboard, a staple of Syracuse in central and upstate New York. If you know Syracuse, you know Mother's. If you know Mother's, you know our community come out as so many have all around the world to the best of the best 3709 James Street in Syracuse and try the Cuse McMother exclusive to Mother's Cupboard and more than anything I can't thank you and your team enough no, that thank you. to have a sandwich anywhere <laughs> would be cool but to have it at Mother's Cupboard I, I feel like I'm literally having it in the fabric of my hometown so you are, you are. it's an honor it's in the fabric of the community yeah. now because they order it all the time well it's a true honor I I'm, thank you. I'm happy that I beat you today. <laughs> and I look Fair forward to the quiet. next one. Make sure you look out for all of our Mother's Cover content and hear from them every Monday through Friday from 9 to 11 a.m. Eastern Time on Wake Up Call. You can catch us on Facebook at Wake Up Call DT, Twitter at Call DT, Instagram at Wake Up Call underscore DT, YouTube.com backslash Wake Up Call DT, and wherever you podcast, search Wake Up Call with Dan Tortora. For now, from Mother's, we'll see you soon. 6 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. every day of the week. Every and the Cuse McMother is on the menu okay. every day. We'll see you there. And God bless and take care. Be well.